like I was saying, this is one of my favorite times of year because uh, college football is back. Um, I'm kind of an NFL fan, but also seasonally, we're in just this really awesome time uh, to be a crypto fan, believe it or not. Now, the greater crypto market doesn't feel that way. Uh, right now, it feels terrible because uh, if you've been here for a while, it's been red and it's been kind of gross this summer. Uh, we had an awesome year, but over the last month, we just have a lot of red in the market. And I want to talk about that briefly. But the overarching theme is in an email that I sent to our members yesterday, um, just saying, hey, look, smart money is accumulating these great assets right now. And uh, in today's call, I'm going to spend less time on macroeconomics, um, and I'm going to spend more time on specific altcoins and tokens, and specifically five sectors of uh, in the crypto industry, five sectors or five narratives that I want you guys to be aware of, okay? Because I think these are our best opportunities to make 100x gains uh, in any single investment. Now, again, not financial advice, and what I'm about to share with you are going to be, um, you know, no guarantee type investments, but they are investments that I'm strongly considering or already have invested in, and I'll try to make that note as I go. But I have a ton of tokens and a ton of coins to share with you guys. And as always, I'm happy if you want to drop a, a question or a specific token that you want to look at together or analyze together, always feel free to drop it in here. I have my priority list, though, today. I'm going to try to cover more projects than I've ever covered in a single call. And or and, and, I, and just hang on for dear life. There is a rhyme and a reason uh, to what I'm trying to accomplish. But I just want to throw as much fodder or alpha at you as I possibly can today. So um, as usual, I have my dual screen I'm sharing on my secondary screen. So for those of you who are new, if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm not trying to be awkward. I'm just trying to multitask for you. Um, special note, I, I, I mentioned this yesterday in our Discord group, but if you haven't gone to cryptoyall.co slash funding and watched my interview with Sarah, I just acquired another 100K of uh, business credit that I'm going to use to, to to both acquire and start a local service business. Um, yes, Crypto Y'all is all about crypto, but we also invest in other real world assets. And um, for me, I'm getting into the local business, uh, local services and create a, a recurring revenue business there that I don't have to operate myself. Um, I'm already invested in other things like e-commerce funds and a fintech company and real estate, but access to credit is especially business credit that's not on your personal FICO score is one of the greatest forms of leverage that I've discovered in my adult life. So go to cryptoyall.co slash funding. And if you've already done this and you're going to use some funding to do some fun stuff, make sure you're, um, you're you go in discord or go in the comments here and let us know what you're doing with it just to have fun and dream with you. Okay, broader market. I'm again, I'm going to stay very very shallow on my macro analysis today, but one thing I want to let you know, again, if you've been a member here for a while or if you are a new member, you know that I look at the DXY. The DXY is the doll, US dollar index. Uh it's a basket of the US dollar and other five major cryptocurrencies like the euro. Uh the euro makes makes up 32% of this index, but this is the strength of the U.S. dollar globally. What's it doing? Well, it's been it's been on an absolute tear since August 23rd, and we're uh, we're we're marching up. I'm on the four hour time frame here. Let's let's look at the daily just to um, have a have a longer term view. So, um, really, since July 23rd, forgive me, we've been on an absolute march upward for the U.S. Uh, dollar now. I have these these this channel. You can see this channel that it's basically bouncing in and out of. We thought we were going to break down this right here. If I'm not mistaken, was approximately the same area of time when it broke through this uh, support was a around the same time, I believe, as the uh, XRP uh, victory. But then the dollar bounced back because the economy, contrary to popular demand, is is really strong. Uh, inflation has receded somewhat, although now the oil and gas prices are going to be the number one thing that keeps inflation uh, high. Everything else has dropped in price, but 
OPEC is now limiting oil production, and President Biden has exhausted our uh, oil reserves as a country. So now they're having to refill those and buy more oil. So we just hit, um, we're, we're flirting with a $105 DXY. When that goes up, Bitcoin goes down, and we are tethered to Bitcoin as a crypto industry. But there's been some fundamental huge news, like Grayscale winning its lawsuit against S the SEC last week. But it's a bear market. Um, or it's the end, the death rattles of a bear market. And when you see awesome news like XRP winning and Grayscale winning and ETF applications pending to be uh, approved in a bull market, those make parabolic price, positive price movements. But right now there's no, there's no money in the market. Like there's no volume. No one's buying or selling. Everybody's just kind of sitting. Smart money though is accumulating. There's more bullish news though in the, in the works. Yesterday, this is massive, y'all. Like, I can't underscore this enough. Uh, Visa, this this guy's name is Kai Sheffield. He is uh, head of crypto at Visa. Visa is the largest, if not one of the largest, credit card uh, companies on the planet. Uh, they are moving into stablecoin settlement. Excited for Visa to continue to lead the intersection of stablecoins and existing payment ecosystem. So if you ever have, the, have those people who say, yeah, crypto is not real. You can't pay for anything with it. Well, Visa is about to start allowing their merchants to get paid and settle their payments um, with stablecoins, both on the Solana and the Ethereum network. So pause. Solana saw a big up, uptick yesterday in its, I think yesterday, let, let's pull that up just so I'm not um, talking out of the wrong side of my mouth. Uh, Solana, well, this is the market cap. I don't want the market cap, I want the price. Sol USD. Um, no, nah, it didn't see. It saw a little bit of a green candle yesterday, but nothing crazy. I think this is a huge opportunity. Uh, if you're if you're looking for a major layer one, um, large cap crypto to invest in that could do that could be the next Ethereum. They chose the, they chose Solana because it's faster than Ethereum. Bottom line, so they didn't choose anything else. They have one. Uh, they, they work with Ethereum and they're working with Solana. This is huge for global adoption, y'all. Um, matter of fact, I think this is just a cool little graphic if it'll pop up for me. So the consumer buys with a Visa and then they will either let the money move on the SWIFT banking system, a traditional bank wire or Ethereum or Solana, and it will settle over here with the merchant. And so again, what happens when a majority of these settlements start happening because it's cheaper and faster using Ethereum and Solana rather than the SWIFT banking system. So that's a that's a huge monumental development, foundational, fundamental development for crypto. So I'm really excited uh, about that news. Oh, this is huge news as well. So check this out. Just going to let this play. MetaMask announced yesterday a new feature called sell where you do not need a central exchange any longer to to uh off ramp you can just move money in and move money out directly to your banks using metamask now fees are going to be exorbitant that's really loud sorry but fees are going to go down over time so if you try to do this right now you're going to pay like five to nine percent to move it all to your bank account but this is huge for global adoption because now if someone just has a MetaMask account, they can do everything they ever needed to do in crypto. So I'm going to turn that off now. Thanks for humoring me on that. That's pretty big news. Um, pretty big development for um, for the crypto industry. Again, when the bull market or when liquidity re-enters the market, these are the this is the infrastructure, the scaffolding that will allow things to take off. Like. When a Bitcoin spot ETF is approved, possibly in 45 days from now, in October, like this is the kind of stuff that's going to be like, oh, wow, you know, your neighbor or your coworker who isn't in crypto yet, but they see that BlackRock and Fidelity and Vanguard and Wisdom Tree and ARK Invest now all are allowing Bitcoin to be traded. Maybe I should go buy some crypto and they'd go, oh, I see a MetaMask, uh, you know, advertisement. And they download MetaMask and now they can just use their debit card to get in and out of crypto. Like that's what people um use that that this is how the, the the fire spreads in crypto so um 
All right. I'm going to transition to straight alpha now. Okay. Um, I have specifically what I would call, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do something different with my screen sharing here. Um, I've used this whiteboard from time to time. If it'll, um, okay. So, um, 100 X sectors in crypto. Now, again, I'm not saying all of these tokens that I'm about to talk about are going to 100 X. I just want to be clear. What I'm saying is these sectors that we're about to talk about, and I'm going to give you examples, at least three or four of each sector. Um, these sectors are going to produce 100 X investments. So that's what we're talking about. So sector number one is going to be AI. Okay, we're all familiar with how big AI is, is becoming and, and has been in um, 2023 specifically. Number two, layer ones. Okay, layer ones like a, a layer one is the, the first layer one was Ethereum, Solana, layer one. Um, those are going to be the layer ones. There are emerging layer ones too, not just the big name brand, large caps. I'm going to talk about the smaller caps as well that have the, the like Ethereum and, and Solana are not going to 100x. There's, there's just, they would have to become. 10 times larger than Bitcoin, and that's just not going to happen. You have RWAs or real world assets. Okay. That's a huge sector that's coming. I was a little early on the RWA uh, bandwagon. I was investing in it one cycle too early. Uh, I want to talk about that. Uh, interoperability, inter, interoperability. Um, this is like financial systems and communications, kind of like the Visa example I just talked about. And then lastly, possibly my most the, the most fun part is metaverse gaming, video games. I've been talking about this ever since I started crypto, y'all. Um, if you don't have to be a video game person to understand that they're huge and it's going to be a huge industry moving forward, especially when it comes to tokenization and crypto and NFTs and smart contracts. Uh, imagine all of those kids who play Roblox and um, uh, the... Uh, the, the Fortnite games and role-playing games and first-person shooters and imagine being able to own the actual assets in those games because of blockchain and open ledger technology. So write these down right now before I uh, move on. You've got AI, you've got layer one, you've got real-world assets, you've got interoperability, and you have metaverse gaming, okay? I'm going to walk you through each of these sectors by giving you specific tokens that you could consider investing in that are going to be uh, massive op uh, opportunities for you to potentially make life-changing money with. So uh, let me uh, share back over to my desktop. I believe this should work. Okay, so we're going to start out with uh, our AI sector, okay? I'm going to go through these very quickly. Um, I do want you to write down the ticker symbol uh, of each. We're not going to go too deep on all of these, but I think you'll notice that in most places, um, they're at a good they're at good accumulation zones. Um, this is called uh, uh, this ticker symbol is Tau T A O. Again, I'm using CoinMarketCap.com to do my research. I can go over here on the website and open it in a new tab if I don't have any, too many tabs open already. Uh, and my computer won't stall out. Um, but this is uh, artificial intelligence, crypto investment, uh, really incredible design on their website, very minimalistic, and um, something to, to check out uh, when you have a chance. Uh, uh, Bitenser is the name of it, is a mining network similar to Bitcoin that offers censorship resistant access to a decentralized network of machine learning models. So this is uh, machine learning, AI exposure, um, definitely looking into this. I'm not an investor yet. Uh, render, render, I am an investor. And it's something that makes a whole lot of sense in that um, it is decentralized or distributed GPU rendering on the blockchain. GPU meaning the horsepower of all of this decentralized computing that has to be supported. So render is um, gonna basically uh, help decentralize and use a global network of democratized GPU in the cloud. And so I think that's going to be a huge AI play. 
So massive opportunity. We're at a dollar thirty six. Let's see, all time high is at about seven dollars, eight dollars, seven seven high sevens. Um, that would be a three thousand three hundred and eighty nine percent retracement if it went back to its all time high, I believe. So really, really awesome opportunity with Render currently. And if you're as we go, if you're investing in any of these already, let me know in the chat. I'd love to know. Uh, Ocean Protocol, another AI uh, exposure, 33 cents currently. Um, it's all about data, and I have not invested in this. This is a tip that I was given. Um, looks like they're, they're going to be affiliated with World Economic Forum, depending on how you feel about that. Um, private data, preserving privacy. It looks like decentralized uh, AI and privacy power. So that's what we're talking about with Ocean Protocol. I'm uh, not an investor yet. Uh, Fetch. Uh, Fetch is one of the highest market caps, largest market caps uh, in all of AI currently. Uh, it concerns me uh, that I can't see the maximum supply. You can see that they, their total supply that they are boasting is 1.1 billion tokens. There are 818 million of those tokens in circulating supply. So there's at least three, 3 billion uh, 3 million tokens. Is that 3 million or 3 billion? 3 million differential there about, about um, where they could create some more selling pressure in the future. Uh, or if they don't release those 3 million, that's all that's in circulating supply. And when liquidity hits, if there's a big catalyst, then the price will pop big time. You'll have a profit-taking opportunity. Fetch would want to be one of those that I'm going to hold for a while though. Um, okay, and then let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, Singularity. Singularity has been one of the largest movers of the year when it comes to AI. Uh, a lot of, still a lot of tokens yet to be distributed, um, but well within my threshold of comfort to um, invest in. I like to see at least 60% in circulating supply. Uh, you need to dig deeper in, into their white paper and see what their token distribution uh, schedule is. But uh, Singularity, if we go to their website, has been one of the largest movers of the year, like I said, um, it, when it comes to AI. And um, you can search, trial, and select from an ever-growing library of AI algorithms created by a community of service providers. So what they're basically acting as is a decentralized marketplace for AI. So pretty cool. Um, finally is Veracity, VRA. I am an investor here. Um, let me see if I can open up our, our website real quick. Uh, they've changed their website since I looked at it last. So let's look at their roadmap real quick. Where are we currently? So we are in Q3. So they have these product, they productize their, their rollouts. So uh, Vera Wallet, I do not have a Vera wallet. Oh, that's European residents, Vera views. Okay, uh, let's click on the token. This is the VRA is their ecosystem token uh, used within Vera views advertising stack for funding and ad campaigns within the Vera wallet and as a basis for Vera pay. Um, I really like this token. It's a very small cap. If you go back, I think we're at a, what's our market cap here? Again, I'm going really fast, y'all. So, Forgive me for not just giving exhaustive commentary, and I'll check your comments uh, shortly. So yeah, we're at a forty-two million dollar market cap. So if this one hundred x, I'm not good at math. So forty-two uh, four one five four seven five times one hundred. Um, so yeah, I mean be at a $4.2 billion market cap in the bull cycle, which would make total sense and, and is very feasible um, given where we're trying to go. So I think this is an awesome play. If you're looking for a micro small cap, like under 50 million y'all is very risky, but massive upside potential, huge upside potential. Mr. Williams says he's in render. Gaming is going to need this. Totally agree. 
Johns and Fetch. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. So that's it for the AI sector. All right. You've got Tau, Rent, um, yeah, Tau, T-A-O. You've got Render, R-N-D-R. You've got Ocean. You've got Fetch, F-E-T. You've got Singularity, which is A-G-I-X. And you've got Veracity, which is V-R-A. All right. Now, I'm moving into layer ones, and a lot of these you're not ever going to have heard of. Potentially, some of them you will have. Um, uh, INJ, injective protocol. Uh, layer ones, just as a reminder, layer ones are like the railroad tracks. They're the foundational layer of smart contracts and blockchains, okay? Well, that's what everything is built on top of. So that we, we need layer ones to, to be that foundation of blockchain, and I think layer ones are going to have a heyday uh, moving into um, the bull market. Market cap of 569 million. So still, a, it's already a pretty large market cap. Um, I would probably think it could five to 10 X, um, in the, in a, in a legitimate bull cycle. Next up, we have a left zero, a zero, a Z E R O as the ticker symbol market caps at 203 million. I'm not an investor here. Uh, this was a tip that I picked up. Let's check out their website. That's not going to load completely for me. Let's try it again. Too many tabs, guys. <laughs> John got three dollars uh, of a left. That's that's funny. Okay, well, it's not loading, and that's my fault because I have too many tabs open. Let me close all of these. Okay. Um, next up, again, Layer One's Oasis Network. The ticker symbol is Rose. It's a two hundred sixty million dollar market cap. Um, I'm not going to go into all these. I am going to be investing in rows for sure. Uh, Caspa is also, um, it has a, a cult following. Um, flirting with a, a billion, they got three quarters of a billion uh, market cap. Uh, been on an absolute tear lately, despite, uh, yeah, I thought I had a good seven, last seven days. It's had a good week. I can't remember the development or the catalyst behind this, but. Anytime you see a token performing like this in a bear market or in the end of a bear market or low liquidity environment like we're in, that's a good sign. I mean, just imagine what it can do when there's a spot Bitcoin ETF out there. Um, I will be investing in Casper. Uh, Dion Protocol, uh, D-I-O-N-E, very small market cap, $22 million. Um, I don't know anything about it. Again, it's a tip that I picked up. See if we can eyeball the website quickly. So they're in the clean energy um, angle of layer ones, which means they are going to be proof of stake rather than proof of work. And it looks like they have a, a wallet utility as well. Uh, Dion wallet is the first piece of Dion ecosystem, a system powered by renewable energy, combining convenience and safer future of blockchain. Okay. Next we have Leox. L-E-O-X, market cap of $0. <laughs> I don't know if that's correct. That doesn't look correct. Has not verified. So this is a really new project, it, it seems. Maximum supply of $150 million. Um, total supply, $28 million. Circuit, that's, it, that's inaccurate. So coin market cap does not have the official profile. Uh, tokenized physical goods. So I've, um, oh, I'm sorry. I moved into the art, the real world assets part of the list. Forgive me. So layer, the last layer one was Dion. Now real world assets um, is Leox. So tokenized physical goods. I thought this was not a layer one. Um, what does tokenized physical goods mean? That's going to be interesting to learn more about. I'm not a Leox investor, but when we talk about real world assets, we're talking about physical, like traditional asset classes where we uh, put their uh, ownership on blockchain, like real estate, and we uh, are able to tokenize it into smaller bits that we can invest in, much like we do with Lofty.ai. Um, so that's Leox. The next one is UBXS token. 620, I think you're going to see a lot of small market caps with the RWAs because it's so new. Like this is literally like how crypto is taking over 
uh, the traditional real world, uniting the physical and virtual worlds, um, power of UBXS in real estate. What is their utility? What is UBXS? Streamlines real estate transactions by facilitating the use of real world assets. With discounts on fees and secure payment solution, it's a valuable tool for buyers, sellers, and agents. So it's going to be an actual real estate transaction tool, much like our friends at Proppy, which I don't have pulled up, but I'm going to pull up now. Their market cap is going to be $25 million. So possibly something you can look into. Uh, I have not. I am an investor here. I'm a long-term holder. Uh I got into it pretty relatively early, um, but buy and sell real estate with, with Web3, property leverages blockchain technology for easier, faster, and more secure transactions. It's definitely something to consider. Definitely at a depressed price currently that you can probably make a lot of money on in the upcoming cycle. So that's property, P-R-O-P-Y, and um, U-B-X-S. UBXS. Um, Etherland, I'm not an investor of. Um, let's see, market cap, very small, $208,000. That's crazy small. It's unbelievable how small, how early we are on some of these. I mean, you could even like put a hundred bucks on this and just see what happens. Um, Let's see if the website loads quickly. So like some of these are so early, like you look at their website and, it's, it, and it doesn't make sense what they do. Like they have a marketing deck that you can read. Like like they're, they're still like in venture capital mode. Register land certs, collect and trade land IDs. So this is going to be, looks like land centric, become a digital land owner. Very, very fascinating. I'm going to look into that more. I'm going to leave that open. I'm going to, I'm going to read up on that a little bit more. Um, Ekta, E-K-T-A, um, $148,000 market cap. Looks like the total supply, maximum supply is $420 million. They only have 38% in circulating supply. I would not purchase this right now. Um, definitely something, though, that could 100x because... If they're not unlocking the rest of the supply this cycle, that's what you got to look into. So what, what I would do here is I would go to uh, – with any of these, I would go to their website, and I would find their white paper. Let's see. Bringing real estate onto the blockchain. So this is literally like Zillow for blockchain. All right, white paper is what I was looking for. So I'd click on their white paper. And I want to know the tokenomics. And now I can see, this is exactly what I was looking for, that the team owns 13%. Advisors own two and a half. The foundation owns two and a half. They did a public sale. So... Maximum su supply of 420 million. There's a lot of people who can dump this token at any time. Doesn't mean they will. So this is the stuff you just got to take into account, okay? So what are my risk factors? Well, we've got a price of less than a penny. We've got a market cap of 147000 I could probably invest a small amount of money here, make an incredible upside, just have to be paying really close attention to it so that when the market pumps, I take my profits and run before all of these other advisors and team members dump their tokens for profit. That's how you look at that. All right, I'm going to keep moving so we don't get bogged down here. Uh, all right, the next sector is interoperability. Uh, many of you may be invested in this. It's Quant. It's one of the ISO 2022 um Tokens, along with things like uh, HBAR and XLM and XRP, I would call this an XRP cousin, Quant. Uh, $1.1 billion market cap, 81% of tokens in, in circulating supply, great sign. Uh, so check that out. 
They're at $99 currently. What's our all-time high? 400 bucks, $317, something like that. Yeah. So uh, I would say quant is uh, do a really good bull cycle. And then you've got some smaller versions of it. Uh, $26 million market cap here with uh, router or router protocol. Root, R-O-U-T-E is the ticker symbol. Uh, for time's sake, check that out. I'm going to buzz through these. I want to get to gaming. We've got change, C-H-N-G, another small market cap under 50 million. I'm not an investor of these interoperability uh, tokens at all. And then we have Ferrum, F-R-M, but I will be. I'm going to choose one of these. I'm not going to choose them all. I'm going to get some exposure to one of these. Um, Ferrum Network. What are we doing here at F-R-M? Ferrum Network. So interoperability is when we have blockchains working with each other, connecting to each other, et cetera. The problem, interoperability 1.0 is not meeting the needs of the blockchain industry. So this is them. This is great. This is smart. They're saying, hey, look, immediately we have utility. What is our purpose? There is a technological purpose behind this. Invest in this. Be there early. Uh, they use Polkadot substrata infrastructure. If you're a Polkadot fan, why not invest in Ferrum? All right. Last but not least… I want to move into our video game metaverse sector. Vulcan Forge, I've mentioned this plenty of times before. It's one of the more popular uh, crypto plays, uh, and its market cap is sitting at a $110 million market cap. Not the most conservative, yet not the most risky. Um, it's a really sound um, investment with 54% uh, of, uh, to of, of tokens in circulating supply, and that's verified data. Um, risky though, there's going to be a lot of the founding advisors and partners who can, uh, dump their tokens in the market, and create sell pressure. Yeah. Uh, this one might, I'm, I am, I'm going to invest here. I'm going to invest here. Uh, Nakamoto games, um, lots of great press on the Polygon network primarily. <clears throat> Massive game marketplace that they're building. Um, They've been building, and they are putting out a lot of free uh, games that you can play right now that basically are trying to mimic the real world, if I can say it that way. Um, First-person shooters, et cetera. So you got hot games, uh, single-player games, multiplayer action, NFTs, fighting. They're, they're trying to compete with the current gaming industry. So good to see a low-cap um, game competing on, uh, on that level. I'm going to probably be investing there. Uh, Sandbox, I'm an investor here. I'm a, I'm a landowner. I'm a proud landowner here in Sandbox. And I think this is probably the shining star of the metaverse. When you, when you really dig into it and you think about what they've built and what they continue to build, and if you join their ecosystem and their Discord group and you see what they've done, it's really impressive. Um, when I say I'm a landowner, you can actually buy land uh, I bought my land for like 800 and something dollars in Ethereum. And uh, it's just literally like a little parcel of land, one of these little little squares. Uh, that might be it right there. I can't remember. I'm not connected, so no. Um, but you can travel as a character into each of these lands, and you can see these massive companies like Warner Brothers, um, massive NFT projects, the Galaxy, Atari, uh, Adidas, uh, Walking Dead, um, Binance, of course. Um, they buy up all this land, and I'm a. I, I was like in the last bull market. I was being offered twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars a day uh, for my little square. So I can't wait to see what happens in this bull market. I'll probably sell my land in this coming cycle. Um, but it's interesting if you want to if you want to buy land, you can you can either buy it privately. Um, in their Discord group, or uh, go to OpenSea.io. I think this is where they're officially listed still. Um, OpenSea.io and type in the sand, uh, the sandbox, the official sandbox up here. And let's see, you can just buy these different parcels of land right now. Gosh, I might buy some more land. 0.29 Ethereum. That's it. 0.3. Let's go price. Let's go recently sold. 
point eight nine. So they're they're not even selling. This is literally about where I the prices I purchased at. So I might I might gobble up some more some more land here. Okay, uh, last couple. Uh, Decentraland. I don't think this can't. This probably will not one hundred x. Uh, Decentraland mana is the ticker symbol. It was one of the original, if not the OG original gangster of Metaverse. Um, I hope they've developed more. I haven't checked on them. I sold all of my uh, mana last cycle. It does look like they've enhanced their 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 graphics for sure. Um, very similar to Sandbox. Lots of partnerships, lots of building. Just if you if you have seen the movie Ready Player One and you believe our, our world is moving in this direction, and if you think there's a ton of money in this sector, then great idea to invest. And finally, Gala Games, currently embroiled in a massive controversy between their co-founders. One co-founder is suing the other co-founder for uh, allegedly uh, stealing $130 million of Gala tokens. The price is suffering because of it, which means I'll probably be buying even more. This is one of my top holdings. And uh, when they're when 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 uh, people are fearful, be greedy. And when people are greedy, be fearful. Right now, people are fearful. Uh, if you look at the fear index on Coin Market Cap's homepage, you can see that we've slipped into fear. Again, I'm trying to load too much on my web browser, um, but we're we've slipped into fear. So it's time for me to be greedy. If you go to Gala.com. They not only are in gaming, but they're also in music and they're also in film and other things, but they've got some big time games out there right now that they are releasing and developing. So um, that wraps it up for our token review. Um, I hope that was helpful. Those are five sectors that I think will contain the next 100x investments. Um, Looks like Chris caught Casper early. Fantastic. That's that's awesome. Would love to hear more about that. Um, so that's a big list. I just went through more tokens in one call than I've ever gone through. If you're watching this um, as a recording, uh, feel free to uh, check out. I'll tr I'll try my best to uh, to uh, list all of those tokens out in the comments or description of the video, and uh, hope you found it helpful.